Hello, ladies and gents. I'm the Rev, and this is Abandoned Ship. And I thought we'd do a playthrough of this. We're going to be trying to accomplish the end goal, which is going to be killing the Kraken. So when you first start the game off, this is where you start. You are just waking up a wild chorus, the birth of a monster. In that moment, the final strand is cut, a burst of clarity. The horror of your recent existence draws upon you. Escape is all you can think of. The tentacles flail wildly in the water. People drop to their knees, some through fear, others with adulation. Their god is manifest. You watch from your position of privilege on a high private balcony. You notice your two bodyguards are distracted and enraptured. Instinctively grabbing something, you smash it down on the head of the first guard. Shocked. Surprise registers on the second before he too is down. You are unsure whether they are dead or unconscious. You feel the drip from your fingers. You look down at your problem's weapon, a small idol of father. It is cracked and cut your hand. You are drifting, but something inside you snaps. You are back to reality. You have to move fast. The cells offer the safest route to freedom. You stride into the prison with feigned authority. No matter, this place is unguarded in our... No, there. Moment of triumph. Escaping alone would be futile. So you grab the keys from the guard room and approach to the prisoners. Alright, time to get our crew on. So, of course, we have us right here. And who do we want to take with us? Okay, so. We got a repair guy. Uh, we're going to want the Marine. Definitely want the Marine. And we're going to want the Gunner. I'll be running one of the guns. So, probably the Navigator. Um, yeah, I probably the navigator or you could do the uh, sailor who repairs you want to look right here in these little areas and play with the best at. So I'm gonna go there All right you and your new companion surge through the labyrinth passages finally a door light seeps in through the cracks in the frame you close your eyes for a moment as the sea breeze brushes your face. Ah, smell it. Feel and hear the breeze. Looking down the winding path ahead, you see what you had hoped for. A ship at anchor. It was likely stolen and repurposed by the cult. Time to put it to better use. Alrighty, so. We just select our crew. Tell everybody to get on board. And we're going to want to then just get everybody on board, have them cut the lines. All right, so you go there. You good, sir. Go there. And we'll have our main guy go there. And we are out. Dozens of furious cultists charge the jetty as you pull away. A high priest at their head. His scream reaches your ears and drips with scorn. Heed me, betrayer. Our father knows and sees you always. You will never escape his embrace. I don't know how he would scream that, but it, it could work. It could work. As he speaks, the other cultists disperse, no doubt to begin their pursuit on their own vessels. They'll be sending ships after us. Let's get out of here. All right. The coastal fortifications open fire on the ship as it leaves the jetty. Mortar shells are incoming. All right. A mortar shell has reduced a crew member to zero health. When this happens, you have a short time to stabilize them. 
When a crew member is stabilized, they will remain unconscious throughout the battle, but will survive. That's the important thing. If you do not stabilize them in time, they will die. But don't worry. In this one instance, we will freeze the bar before it runs out. Now, Get over there, dude. There we go. The barrage has damaged the ship hull. In the bottom left corner of the screen is a bar that shows the hull's health. If this bar is emptied, then the ship will sink. The bottom right section basically tells you what you need to do to repair. So. I'm a little bit ahead here. So, of course, up front here is where we get our health on. by a weapon that causes hole cracks. These splinter the decks and make the ship take on water. There is a water gauge at the back right down here. And you basically run your guy over. When it lets you... Oh, what is going on? There we go. Got fire. Of course, fire damages your ship, so there we go. All righty, so we made it out. We need to leave the area quickly. You're going to want to hit every one of those that you see because it's basically treasure in the water. And then beyond that, it's kind of uh, hit and miss on some things. Some things it's combat. Some it is other various things. From losing food to rats to all kinds of various fun. Things now. One of my standard practices that I've been going through and playing this is, of course go through and open the whole map up and want to make sure you're doing this uh, usually when you first come in there is a game mechanic that will uh, make this dangerous to do but before that mechanic gets started we're gonna get as much money as we can see now this is where it wants us to go but already we found a bunch of money and what we're gonna do is clear this area I'm gonna open this whole map up so hold on one second and then we'll go to the next area all right guys I got everything opened up for it to show you this is what a whole map looks like yep we just have to move through a gate that is open and you'll see that in the next area you see down here in this corner they're all locked we're going to change that we go a twin cold ship has stumbled upon us man the guns show them no mercy all right so we get an act a little bit oh no all righty so first things first you hit your space bar you can pause everything Good sir, you did not go where you were supposed to. Right. Yep. 
to aim the cannon. It's very easy to do. Let's see. Yeah, you can pause the game. Yep, after pause, I've got the active pause. He's actually going to have to end the water. And this hits the sail. Go aiming the grape shot. And then down here on the bottom, we've got charging the over bar so we can smash into them. You should probably be pumping water. We have to wait until this fills all the way up. And there are things you can do to speed everything up. I got a pretty good grasp, I think, of those things. It's just a question of getting that money. And now, when we're this close, we've got everything going, we can do the maneuver. You do need to make sure this right here, you uh, hit this for the crew to brace. You also get it in rough seas. Okay, now the enemy failed, so basically that's what we have this little thing on the back for. So if you guys get knocked over, you just send one of your other guys over here to... Do it this way. We're just gonna fast and dirty kill them off here. Come on. Uh oh. You get out of there. And we should be good. And basically, uh, all of your guys will get healed up. So, oh, we need to get out of here before we sink. You can see our little thing here still filling up. And again, there's ways you can go through that. So now we go to this next area. And the first thing when you hit that area, oh, you announce to the crew that you need to take stock and are not to be disturbed. In the captain's cabin, you find some clean clothes, most likely belonging to the poor previous occupant before the cult had their way with the ship. It feels good to finally be out of your flowing ceremonial robes. You stow them away neatly, knowing they may yet have their use. All right, so currently... This is really all we can do. We can make it a man or a woman, and we can make it and do whatever with his skin color, and that's pretty much it. You reemerge onto the deck, and the crew snap to attention. We may have escaped, you begin, but we are not yet safe. We must make port, then go our separate ways. It's me thereafter. You return to your cabin and slump into a chair. Moments later, a strong undercurrent of exhaustion pulls you into a deep sleep. 
still loved, and always in his thoughts, you were the first. But he knew something within you had changed. Thus you were marginalized, became a symbiotic icon with no real power. You didn't care. Something in you was gaining strength little by little. The fog was clearing. A sharp knock on your door snapped you awake. Moments later, you stride back on deck to issue commands. The cult fortress is far from inhabited lands. We need to navigate through open waters before we can find a port. Alright. So, click on the highlight section. So, this is where we're going to set our crew. So when bad things happen, first, that's where I normally like to rock my ship. And now we're going to save our crew position. So we're going to put him here, this dude there, and this guy right here. First thing we're going to do is get more crew members and change these weapons out because I do not care for them. Now, the next thing you want to do is come down here, hit this little icon, boom, they are now saved. So, no matter what's going on, we can hit that button and they'll run back to those positions. And, of course, the direction you want your ship facing. And most of the time you want it this way. Um, that's why you only want to make sure you keep um, a real good pilot so that uh, the game will flip it on you where you need to turn it around. I wind up selling off everything on this side of the ship because I just use this side of the ship. So... Let's get some. Yeah, we're in great danger, but until our little thing comes up, we don't have to worry about it. So again, you just want to... At least I like to go and rock and roll on through here. See what kind of money there might be floating around. Oh, now that icon is for a fight with a cult ship. Or it could be these little monsters that they have. On top of the Kraken. So. Whenever possible, I'm going to try and clear the map. And, of course, do a little bit of interesting editing to try and keep these speeded up. Because this game can take a while when you go through and clear the whole map. Because I like to know about my options. Alright, so, oh, here we go, more money. And another fight. So, we need to have four events. So, this is one of the events that you can have. Alrighty, guys, so here is our first map completely opened up. We've got four different encounters we have to do as we move into other areas there'll be question marks there'll be all kinds of different icons and i'll explain them as we go but we do want to keep these episodes within reason so please like favorite and subscribe and when we come back next time we're gonna start by hitting all four of these events hopefully none of them kill us because at any time you can be killed you can have your ship sunk it is uh, definitely like FTL in the aspect that you have something constantly uh, hunting you, pushing you into other areas. There's things that you can do, but it's with ships. And we're probably going to be taking the pirate route whenever possible. So please, keep your heads down, your cannons up, and I'll see you again real damn soon.